Last December, uh, the police department in Palestine, Arkansas, which is a very small town, lost a Humvee. Now, this was a Humvee that was given to them by the Defense Department as part of their excess property program. They'll have excess military weaponry. They don't know what to do with it. So they decide to give it to local police enforcement. And of course, this leads to the militarization of our police force, which is, of course, very problematic. Now, the amazing part about this Humvee going missing is that according to reports, it took a week before before anyone on the small force noticed it was missing from the police station's parking lot. Oops. A short time later, uh, they found the Humvee in the woods. Apparently, <laughs> the person who stole it crashed it, and so they towed it back to the department, and now they're using the parts uh, for their new Humvee if it ever breaks down. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Look, we have so much crap we've sent to the different police forces throughout the country. That ah, it's all right. Keep your broken Humvee for all the other Humvees. We're going to send you it to uh, use it for spare parts. This program is a little bit more complicated. I mean, you have to understand that the great majority of the things that we send them uh, are not heavy weaponry. Yes. Okay. And so they, if you send them stuff that they might need that we have anyway at the federal government that we're not using. That's good. Yeah, like That's, sleeping bags. Right. And I, there was a story that we never got to in, in the second hour, and it was about how there are like all these like little benign things that they've given to local police enforcement. Like, and that's the great like, majority. Like bowling pins and things like that, you yes. know, which oh, is fine. Like a Nintendo or something. Yeah. Hey, you guys got it. You're not using it. Some cops in Palestine, Arkansas want to play with a Nintendo. I don't care about that. Yeah. And in fact, it's, it prevents waste, if you ask me. Now the problem is when you're sending the armored vehicles and the machine guns and the, all this stuff. And by the way, Alan Grayson had a great bill in the House that got absolutely pummeled, got voted down. But he said, keep the program, just don't send things that are like bombs, nuclear devices, <laughs> okay, things that you it's Things that you would think people would just need a little bit of common sense to know not to send local police enforcement. Right. Yeah. And the and the all Congress only it got 66 votes out of 435. Amazing. Over 300 votes saying no. I keep sending the heavily weaponized like military stuff to the cops. So in this case they send the Humvee. I love these guys cuz I, the panic they must have had a week later when they realized, oh shit, where's the Humvee? How do you not notice that the Humvee is missing? I mean, you're not living in like this big ass town, in like this big ass area. Like, you're a small police force. How do you not notice that there is a Humvee missing? It, uh, I, by the way, that's not the only case. Like, there have been other instances of Humvees that have gone missing. Can I read that to you? Yeah, that one second. Mm -hmm. Palestine Police Chief Stanley Barnes said uh, when they figured out it was missing, we just do what police officers do. We find out who done it. People talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good for you. Good for you. He you sounds figured, really smart. Yeah, you yeah. figured it out a week later. Yes. Nice job. <laughs> How many cars are there even in the parking lot in Palestine, Arkansas? <laughs> no, I love this story. Okay, so as I mentioned, there have been other instances of Humvees going missing. At least three other police stations have misplaced or been robbed of their government issued Humvees in the past five years. Okay. Wow! Apparently they're popular. You know, I, I didn't know this. They don't have keys. You go, but on the internet, you can look up how to start a Humvee. Yep. So people are like jumping into the Humvees. They looked it up online, and they're taking off. They're going on joy rides. Yeah. And then a week later, some dude in sheriff in Arkansas is like, "Now we got a who done it on our hands here. We're done, but we're gonna get her done. Get that Humvee back. Oh well, uh. you're gone. <laughs> okay. We'll, okay. we'll use it for spare parts instead." <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So this is, look, that's funny, but this is no laughing matter. No, okay? it's not. Don't Cause, laugh. Because then there are also guns that go missing. And of these course. are guns that the Defense Department gives to the local authorities, and then all of a sudden we don't know where they are. Police departments like Palestine's uh, have been suspended from the Pentagon 1033 program for misplacing at least 14 M16 assault rifles, 11 M14 assault rifles, 21 pistols, and 10 shotguns. Now, that's not all from one place. Yes. That's They're saying police departments like Palestine, Arkansas, have misplaced all those different kinds of guns at different times, some in bigger batches where the people go, hmm, and it turns out one of them was just reselling it, which is totally illegal, yeah. right? And they were just skimming money off of this program, but that guy got busted. The rest of them were like, damn it, where were we? Where were we? Oh, by the way, the guy who I love, Sheriff Joe, yes. okay? I don't love him because I like him, I love him because he's such an idiot, right? He, he gets tough on crime, that's what Sheriff Joe does. Sheriff Joe lost an um, 
an M16, one of the 89 that they got from the government, okay, and nine Colt 45 handguns. Jesus. How do you lose nine Colts? I don't, you know, it, but Sheriff Joe, I make them wear pink underwear at Steven Seagal and I drive, drive our tank through a chicken fighting, cock fighting business. Yeah! Where are my guns? Where, what's it, what happened? Where'd they go? Yeah, and he got suspended from the program as a result of losing those weapons. Sheriff Joe's such a clown, man. And look, I, I've now read in 128 different instances that when you militarize things, the reaction becomes more violent. Not just here in the US, but in other instances in other countries as well. That as soon as force shows up, the protesters or whoever it was on the other side that was peaceful turned violent. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't help anybody. 